look up. That makeshift bridge, we gotta cross it. First we go under, around to the left, and then stop and over.
tunnel here. Tunnel here. Ah, shit. That's a big one. Let's go around to the left, or go away. Let's go. Let's go.
And here we are. Told you we'd make it in one piece. Station ain't too far now. Hey, you! Get over here! There are marauders up ahead! I always wanted to... Po oh, no. How the hell did marauders navigate the caverns? This station's under the protection of the corporate compliance crew. You a marauder? Cause me and my sunshine, that's my gun if you were wondering, we don't take kindly to marauders. A coherent enough response, I reckon. Must be true. You're clear, but I would caution you against pressing on ahead. This station's plumb crawling with marauders, you know. I take it you ain't met the other C3s. Me and Sunshine are doing exactly what we've been tasked with. You want more details? You ought to talk to my crew. They're guarding a small barracks to the southeast, by the edge of the mountain. There is nothing I'd enjoy more, but the C3s play it by the book, usually. Go petition the boss man. Maybe you can convince him to alter my duties. See that path that runs underneath that giant archway? Follow it on down. There's a little station near the cliff. You'll find the rest of my crew there. That assist was a violation of corporate law if I ever saw one. Since it was to my benefit, and we're largely in lawless lands, I'll look the other way. C3 owes you one, stranger. You haven't seen Constance, have you? Ah, there's her torso. And better be her legs over yonder, never mind. I'm Berthold. What in the void are you thinking, creeping around a mana queen like that? At the time, I was thinking... Please don't see me, oh la, I don't want to die, nah nah nah. Now I'm thinking it was stupid to come in here. Killing marauders and hooligans, as I am handsomely paid to do. Of course, as me and Constance discovered, they ain't the only forms of life inhabiting these caverns. I owe you a debt for saving my neck, stranger, and I mean to pay it. There's a station up the way, it's where my C3s are posted. We can talk more there where it's safe. I'll be on my way, once I've gathered up Constance's parts.
Hey, Mana Queen Slayer. Glad you made it in one piece. After all, not everyone's so lucky. Meet my corporate compliance crew. Then check out our weapons locker inside. I reckon you'll find something you like. Then we call it even between us. A corporate model is the oldest and most efficient, not to mention stable structure history has ever shown us. Plus, corporations got certain rights, not entailed to individuals. I lead the C3s. Addy covers our payroll and expenditures. Lance handles the human capital. And Donald is our charming public face. Our system works. We've racked up more confirmed kills than any other crew you can hire. We were hired to do so, why else? You did get the memo that we're mercenaries. Our client's a bit unorthodox, sure. He calls himself the broker, and prefers the glow of a terminal to flesh and blood interaction. But I can't fault his work ethic. Our current gig's to stop, by means of lethal force, any creatures exiting the caverns, including but not limited to marauders, iconoclasts, and agents operating for the MSI. You drive a hard bargain, Mana Queen Slayer. It don't make much financial sense for C3 to expend resources on any killing beyond the contract stipulations. As the marauders didn't enter from the caves, the requirements are... Mm, murky. At the same time, we do want to keep our client alive. Until the payment's cleared. We recommended the client safeguard himself, so I don't expect that the main doors will be accessible. Find a way to open them, and we'll clear any hostiles on the inside. I'd best radio ahead for Joy and Hudson to prep for us. They'll be at the station entrance, ready with our finest auto mechanicals to assist you. C3s, prepare to move out. Got a problem? Maybe I can help. There you are. Boss man said you'd be up this way. Would you read us or shoot up the place? <laughs> Just kidding. Guy never sets foot outside. Fox radioed ahead. Said I'm to follow you. 
provide whatever support you need. If those bastards start shooting, we'll join in. I gotta warn you, my girl Sunshine here is a tad trigger happy. Of course, me and her will follow your lead. Just wanted you to know we wouldn't begrudge you of any violent inclinations. You're A-OK, -okay, stranger. Hear that, Hudson? It's payday. the door. Realize this being as you're an outsider, but the blaring alarms indicate the station's on lockdown. Huh? Which means you can't ever get me. Don't leave already. elevator, but they ain't gonna budge while this place is on lockdown. Guess we keep moving forward. Look for another way up.
by Marauder? And you, Nioka, what are you doing lugging a stranger into my station? You could use the socialization, you son of a bitch. Also, she hired me. To what purpose? I happen to have some significant problems I am dealing with right now. Marauders, running out of purple berry wine three days ago, not being able to bloody broadcast. No, no, no. We'll deal with information-related business later. As I said, there are bigger problems threatening my life and livelihood at this very moment. The Marauders want me dead. And since my hired hands have clearly turned to idle, it appears I need you to clear out the threat. As my newest contractor, you may call me... The Broker. Or we can call you Hiram, on account of that's your damn name, and doubly on the account of The Broker being a dumbass alternative. Everyone calls me that, aside from you. Oh, now they'll take action. It's about time, I tell you. I'm up to my neck and marauders in here, which, by the by, they were supposed to prevent. I barricaded the broadcast center, but I can only hold out for so long. Clear the marauders out, and I'll pay you double the going rate. They destroy the transmission equipment, and I'll be out of business. The elevator and doors to the second floor are back online. Hurry before I have to lock them down again. Too many, considering I hired a bunch of no-good mercs to keep them out in the first place. Already, they've caused considerable damage to the station's property. If they take down the broadcast equipment, I'll be out of a job, permanently. Aside from the bits I'll be paying you, you said you wanted something from me, something information-related. I'll give it to you, in person, once I'm safe.
Never thought I'd be ecstatic at having the walls painted in blood, but seeing as it's not mine, I'd say this calls for a celebration. And you got me my money's worth out of the C3s. I ought to have simply dealt with you in the first place. Hmm, yes, I believe I do. This ought to square our debt. One hefty payment for a highly valued service rendered. But, I admit... I do wonder why Nioka has brought you to me. Allow me to pose my question in another manner. Why, in the nebula, are you here? Oh, great. I love doing pro bono work for friends. Aw, you called us friends. I'd normally entertain your self-aggrandizing delusions, but this time it's important. Important to you is not the same as important to me. Although I do recognize that you may have earned some goodwill during your months laboring for me. Tug on my heartstrings, why don't you? Look, I'll do what I can, all right? Rebecca Hodges and Anders Wattsworth. They took a UDL contract back when Monarch went to ship, and I need to find them. I believe them to be on Terra too. If UDL hired two hunters back then, it would have been for creature clearing purposes round one of their spacer's choice outposts. These are the coordinates for the outpost under the last UDL contract. Now scram. And, uh, good luck. I knew it was only a matter of time before he came a-knocking. Look, I might be late, but I fulfill my contracts, always. Oh, you do, do you? I have lost track of the number of beers you owe me for chasing raptodons off your stoop. Are you fibbing? Be honest. I take offense to that. Look, okay. Just, it might take me a while this time. I am awaiting but a single incoming transmission containing the information we desire. But MSI and the Iconoclasts are clogging the airwaves from Stellar Bay and Amber Heights. In their war against each other, they're scrambling each other's outgoing transmissions. Exactly what I was thinking. They hurt us all with their pettiness. Which of course has inadvertently affected the incoming port and my livelihood. My former partner, Sanjar, transmits from his office in MSI's headquarters in the center of town. Don't let him try to fool you. While his messages might seem like gibberish, they are in reality coded business orders to off-world companies. I understand why he needs the bandwidth, but we had a deal and he's broadcasting ceaselessly. Amber Heights is one of the only surviving settlements outside of Stellar Bay. Graham Bryant and the Iconoclast there got their hands on a working relay station. Now they're ceaselessly transmitting philosophous ramblings on my airwaves. 
No, they're jamming the limited frequencies we have at our disposal. Nothing extraplanetary can get in or out until the frequency pollution thins out. The safest bet is to convince Graham and Sanjar to stop transmitting on their end. You do that, I'll be here waiting on the receiving end. Luck be with you. I have a feeling you'll be needing a pinch of it, plus a vat of patience. Is that a trick question? Because, of course, I could offer you a vastly more interesting bit of data instead. Try me. We'll call it an exchange for your help with the broadcast. Ask me what you will. Not much, admittedly. Phineas has been in hiding for the past 35 years. He got in touch with Nioka first, who I use as a physical go-between. The rest is history. As far as what's between us, I mean. Outside of that, well, that's a raptodon of another color. I do know this much. There is a sharper side to the good scientist than you'd expect. If allegations are to be believed, the experiments he conducts for the greater good are in fact treasonous and for self-gain. I am not convinced as to the validity of these allegations considering the source, but I am also not unconvinced either. Luckily for you... What? No. Why would I go out of my way to intercept messages from Earth? There's no market for them. No buyer means it's not worth my time. Now, if you wanted me to intercept a certain one... How low you seemingly regard my... I may have a secret... How... Sure.
Oh, I'm glad I didn't eat because the smell here is 100% wrong. Ah, this factory offers the loveliest aromas. Like if you cook four still for a sulfur tip.
Something's not right. Incoming!
company pr What do you think you're doing? Uh, just be careful next time. Whoa, now. And just what do you figure you're doing up here? These are my private quarters, friend. I don't allow tours up here. I don't allow tours ever on deeper consideration. Certain things require a mess to do well. See, I was just killing some time. I prefer to prepare my dinner by my own hand. Nothing like fresh and bloody borstwurst. I do own a factory known for specializing in the canning of borstwurst. On occasion, I like to imbibe other parts of the sisty pig. Did you fancy me a cannibal? Perish the thought. No, I don't eat the bodies, I disappear. A joke, that last was. So, what can I do for you? My full attention is at your disposal. Uh, I'm not saying you shouldn't vex this guy, but if you do, it's been nice knowing you. While I approve of your associate's cautious nature, I still teeter on the verge of losing my patience. Let us move forward with the present proceedings. Thank <laughs> you. 